What's up Kingdom Kids? Good morning. So excited to be here with y'all today. I pray everyone's staying safe out there. Well, y'all know what's up first. That's right, prayer. Let's get started. Good morning, Kingdom Kids. It's Miss Jasmine, and I'm going to be leading you guys today in prayer. So as we prepare our hearts and minds for the lesson today, I wanna to go ahead and start off our morning like we do every day with prayer. So you can go ahead and either put your hands together or just bow your head, but we're gonna go ahead and get into it. So if you bow your head and close your eyes. Lord God, we come to you as humbly as we know how with thanksgiving for waking us up this morning, for keeping our family safe, for keeping us healthy, for keeping us together, for giving us time, Lord, to actually spend in your word and get to know you and get to know our families and friends better, Lord God. Everything going on, God, I know anxiety and fear has a tendency to creep in, but Lord God, I pray that you bind that right now and that you search our heart and spirits and help us and show us what we really need to work on, God, and show us ourselves so that we can be more like you and better serve you, Father God. And I know times are tough right now and sometimes we may not have the words to express to you what's going on, God, but I just pray that you listen to our hearts, God, for the when we cannot find the words to say to you, Father God. I'm so thankful that you have brought our kingdom kids together to even be able to connect online and stream and get the words from their teachers, Father God. Thank you for Pastor Curl for giving us the word that we need daily and that we actually use it, Father God, not just let it fall on deaf ears. Lord, I know that times are unsure, but I just pray that we continue to have faith and believe in God and that he will work out whatever is going or whatever is going on in our world and whatever we are dealing with in our hearts, Father God. Um, I love you. We love you. I thank you and give you praise uh, for everything that you can continue to do, even when we don't deserve it, Father God. Please continue to bless these kingdom kids, Lord, as they continue to learn from us and that we continue to learn from pastors so that we can better disciple them, Father God. I thank you again, Lord, for everything that you continue to do in my life. I love you and amen. All right, Kingdom Kids, that is the prayer for today and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Oh, good morning, Desiree. I didn't know you were coming today. Good morning, uh, Mr. Uh, Michael. Uh, Mr. Mike is fine, thanks. Oh, I'm sorry. So you're pretty new at this, huh? Yeah, today's actually my first time being able to host. I was actually gonna let them know what was coming up next. Ooh, 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 I'm a pro at this. Yeah, you know, you're pretty good at hosting, Desiree. Um, you know what? I'll let you introduce my favorite praise and worship song. Ooh, 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 I love that song, I love that song. Here's Mr. Mike's favorite song, Be Like Jesus. Roll it! Of that lane. I said, yes, ma'am, is everything okay? She said, come over here, I got something to say. You shouldn't be on TV acting that way. I said, whoa, you'd rather I be fake. Want me to act like I don't make mistakes? Sorry, ma'am, I ain't cut that way. I gotta keep it 100 all day. And your attitude is worse than mine. And you can be a little bit more kind. And if you want folks to come to your church, we all gotta do some work. To be like Jesus. Be like Jesus. I wanna be, wanna be, be like you, just like you. I wanna be like me, be like Jesus. I wanna be, just like you. Everybody looking like there he is. They ain't wanna remind you of what you did. Don't know why some people just won't forget, and some folks just won't let you live. Oh, how quick they forget what they did. Don't even remember. Let me put it just like this. I wanna be like Jesus. Be like Jesus. I wanna be like
Hey King Kids, this is Jeremy here with this week's King of Fit. Today I have three stretches and three workouts that we're going to go through. You always want to stretch before you play, work out, or just when you wake up in the morning just to make sure you're loose and you don't pull anything throughout the day or when you're playing. So the first stretch that we're going to have, if you have a wall here, you can put your hand on it to keep it balanced. We're going to do a quad stretch. So you're just going to pull your leg for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Next, we have toe touches. So you're just gonna reach down and grab your toes for ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Next, we have knee hugs. So what you're gonna want to do is grab one of your legs and give it a big old hug for ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then grab your next knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so now that we got our stretches done, we can get into our workouts. First workout we're gonna have is a squat. If you don't know what a squat is, you just wanna act like you're sitting in a chair 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Next workout that we have is our calf raises. So all you're gonna do, reach for the stars and hit your tippy toes 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And for the last workout, we have lunges. Just gonna put one foot forward, one foot back, and then go down 10 times. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're just gonna switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well, that's it for this week's Kingdom Fit. And I'll see your beautiful faces next week. Oh my God, I- Whoa, Desiree, you're not supposed to use God's name like that. I can't say, oh my God. No ma'am, that's part of the 10 commandments, number three to be exact. Oh, I remember Miss Morgan doing the finger thing. Another thing was, uh, watch what you say, but I thought it meant don't use bad words. Yeah, that too, but don't use his name in vain either. He doesn't like that. God's name is holy. Oh, this uh, Ten Commandment thing seems kind of complicated. Well, yeah, that's why we actually break that down for you in today's lesson. Let's go check it out. So my family is going to the museum tomorrow morning. Do you want to come with us? Well, I would, but what about church? Um, I guess we're skipping. Why? For family time. Is that wrong or something? Well, I mean, it is one of the Ten Commandments. God wants us to go to church so that we can have a better relationship with Him and learn about Him. Your parents want to spend time with you so you guys can have a better relationship. And that's exactly what God wants us to do with Him. Oh my god, I never thought about it like that. Uh, Kira, that's actually, well, another one of the commandments. Commandment 3 is watch what you say. God doesn't want us to say, oh my god, because his name is holy, so we should watch how we use it. 
We don't want to offend God, just like we don't want to offend other people. Does that make sense? Oh, wow, I didn't even realize. Well, that's why we go to church to learn. <laughs> You're right. I think we should go to church tomorrow. Sounds like a good idea. Aw, oh, man, I'm definitely going to have to do better about following these commandments, especially going to church. Woo, that's a tough one. Well, yep, Desiree, that's commandment number four. That's why we have the Bible to help us remember. Oh, my goodness. Goodness, I said goodness. Uh, uh, I'll be right back. Wait, where are you going? I uh, forgot to get the memory verse. Oh, okay. But just go to praise and worship, okay? All right. And 
Julius is going to demonstrate what happens when we don't use the right choice of words that come out of our mouth. Sometimes they make a huge mess. They can create a huge mess with if we use really bad words that come out of our mouth or disrespectful words or judgmental words. Um, so Julius, can you go ahead and squirt out the tube? can see if everybody can see here it just creates a huge mess oh my gosh what a mess so that creates a really big mess there and thank you so much boys for not saying oh my god and using the name of the Lord in vain in that sense. So anytime that you say that, anytime you drop something, anytime you make a mess, anytime you might say something wrong, you don't want to say, oh my God, and use the, the name of our Lord in vain. You want to say, oh my gosh, what a mess. So, so Kingdom Kids, we just have to be careful every day on the choice of words that we use to come out of our mouth because we don't want to offend anybody, we want to be disrespectful, and we want to always think of how God would want us to use the words that come out of our mouth and never ever take his name in vain and always give him the respect that he deserves. I hope that everybody learned something today and you want to ask your parents if you can use some toothpaste or maybe slime or Play-Doh to demonstrate um, the activity that we did today. Hope everybody is staying well and safe and hope to see y'all soon. Bye! I sure do love Miss Julie and all her examples. It really helps me out. Yeah, that's right. I love Miss Julie too. Well, I hope so. She is your wife. Well, that's all we have for today. Thanks for joining us, Mr. Uh, Mike Kale. Really? It's Mr. Mike? Yeah, Mr. Mike. Mr. Mike. That's what I said, Mr. Mike. Anyway, well, I have fun with you today, Desiree. Wow! Commandment oh. number six! Commandment number six! Commandment number six! I'm sorry, it was an accident. Not to hurt anyone, Mr. Mike. I'm sorry. Well, okay, Kingdom Kids, I'm gonna get Desiree checked out. Thanks for joining us today. Hope you guys had fun. We'll see you next time. Bye, friends. We're still camped near Mount Sinai, the mountain of God. Moses went back up to the mountain to replace the first set of Ten Commandments that had been broken. So, once again, all of us waited. I wish we'd get going for the promised land, because my mom keeps thinking of way too many chores for me to do. Here you go, guys. See you in the <sighs> morning. I was so tired, I couldn't wait to get to sleep. Seth? Seth? Oh, come inside! Seth, you've 
worked hard rebuilding the pen. You've earned your rest, my little man. Mother, why does it keep thundering on the mountain? God is giving Moses new tablets of the commandments. The Lord has forgiven us, but we must learn how to obey him. The commandments will help us learn how. Ah. Uh. Seth, it's time to say your prayers. Uh, Seth. God, guide us, your people. Help us to do better this time. And bring Moses back safely. Oh, he has been gone for a long time. Do not misuse the name of the Lord your God. The Lord will not let you go unpunished if you misuse his name. Remember to observe the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Six days a week are set apart for your daily duties and regular work. But the seventh day is a day of rest dedicated to the Lord your God. Seth, Seth, time to wake up, son. What, what, it, what is it? Oh, five more minutes, Mom. Oh, Seth! There's lots to do. Uh, you need to feed the animals. Oh. No, oh, and don't forget, you have to gather enough manna for two days. The Sabbath begins tonight. Ah, <sighs> the Sabbath, a day of rest. Layla, Layla. Who's calling you? Uh, I don't know, but they're going to wake the camp. Layla. <sighs> uh, who's interrupting my beauty sleep? Uh, how is an animal supposed to get any shut-eye around here? I've been wondering that all night, with all that snoring going on. Look, when I'm really tired, I snore. Carrying all that wood and stones for the pen was tiring. Hearing you constantly complain is even more tiring. Watch it, Rat. Well, if you don't mind. Oh, come on, you two. <laughs> Be nice to each other. Layla. You've got to come quickly, Layla. Joshua! Layla, you've got to come. It's time for Bithia. Oh, my goodness. What is it? It's time for what? It's time for my cousin Bithia to have her baby. Let's go. Mom, that's on the other side of camp. What about our animals? Oh, you're right. Oh. <laughs> What's all this ruckus about? Josana. Oh, no. Not him. Jasana, would you mind looking after Seth? Uh, my cousin is going to have a baby. Well, I'm not very good at... Well, you'll be fine. Uh, Seth is very mature. He takes care of himself and the animals. Uh, all right. Oh, then it's settled. Thank you so much. It should only be a short while. A couple of days at most. Mom! Layla, we need to go. Now, Seth, you mind Jasana until I get back? Oh. Well, maybe you can help our neighbor with his chores. Chores? Hmm. Great. My boy, I didn't ask for this arrangement, and neither did you. But it will be a growing experience for both of us. Under my tutelage, you shall learn to accomplish great things. I'll bet. You call that a basket? Get a bigger one! But, Jasana, we're only supposed to gather enough mana for one day. Don't talk back to me, boy! Just get me a bigger... <laughs> ...basket! And saddle that... <laughs> ...camel! Uh, yes, sir. Here, let me do that. Yeah, come on, you... Oh, oh. Boy, saddle up the donkey. But I'm not done with you. Manna was a white, flaky-like food that God provided for us every morning. Except on the Sabbath, of course. Because God didn't want us to work on that day. He wanted us to rest and worship Him. Stop here and start gathering. Hmm. Sometimes I think it tastes like olive oil. <laughs> 
Mm. But there's also a little hint of honey. It'll all taste rotten if we gather more than we need for today and the Sabbath. It'll spoil. Don't you know that? You just gather and leave the thinking to me. Maybe you'll learn something. But, Jasana, why would you want to take more than the Lord says? Because maybe I can sell it. Let me explain it to you this way. I swear by God that it's a okay to make a little money on the side. And your mama wouldn't put a pocket in your robe if you didn't have something to hide. When you swear stuff in the name of God, you better be sure it's true. Cause if he found out you lied in his name, I wouldn't want to be you. You gotta do what you can to get what you want. God knows you gotta work the system. When Moses gave lessons on piety, it seems to me you must have missed them. I swear by God, this coin is mine. It doesn't matter whose it was before. You can tell because he gave me such a lucky strike. God would rather see someone else poor. You can twist the facts and turn them round. Convince me, son, is rain. You can pull it over me, but you won't be fooling God when you take his name in vain. You gotta do what you can to get what you want. God knows you gotta work the system. When Moses gave lessons on honesty, it seems to me you must have missed them. I when swear God I said to the very first man, man to build I a better mouse trap. You need a better plan to get God what did. you want. You've got to do what you can. What you want, you gotta, gotta do what you can. Inside, quickly. Turn around. Yes, sir. Seth, come here, boy. Aren't you afraid I'll see your hiding place? Look at this. Feel. It's sticky and gooey. Sticky and gooey? <laughs> it's wet. That's uh, the point. It's wet. Don't you know what this means? You'll have to find a new hiding place? There's water down there, under the sand, right in my tent. Can you imagine what would happen if there was a spring right under my tent? We can dig a well. People wouldn't have to go to the other side of the camp to fill their water jars. They could come right to my humble tent. Oh, just sign us well. For a slight fee, right? Now you're getting it! Think of the water! Think of the convenience! Think of the money! Oh, brother. Well, you'd better get started. Started what? Digging the well. Now? But it's almost the Sabbath. We can't work. What if someone finds out? Don't worry. It'll be our little secret. But what will the Lord think? When God gives you a gift like this, it would be a sin to wait, even for a moment. We can put your animals to work, too, and it will go faster. The animals are very tired. Nonsense! All they need is a little pep talk to see the true wisdom of Jessana's plan. Oh, Joshua, uh, did you find someone to help Bithia? Yes, Aaron. Layla's helping. Any sign of Moses? No, oh, no, not, not yet. Uh, but today, at least, the mountain is silent. You'd best return to camp. Surely Moses won't come until after the Sabbath. No, Joshua, you're wrong. Moses comes before the Sabbath. It didn't take long for news to spread through the camp. God replaced the tablets that were destroyed, and Moses was coming down from the mountain with them. Isn't it exciting? Moses is back. Excuse me, Mother. I must check something out. Come on, Zeke! Ephraim, where are you going? It's almost the Sabbath. It's important. 
Ephraim. Please, Mother, just five minutes. I'll be right back. Promise. Ha! This is so unfair. It's almost sundown. Oh, then we can rest. I doubt it. This old coot isn't going to stop for anything. We should have all stayed with Shadi and refused to work. Right. Hm. Then old Jasana would threaten us with that stick of his. Well, I'm not afraid of him. I'm not afraid of him either. It's that staff of his that scares me. Be careful, you good for nothing. <laughs> Shadi, what's with the noise? I'm trying to get a little rest. I work nights, you know? Amos, I needed you, and you weren't answering. S sorry. Earplugs. <laughs> Those are so cute. Amos, can you sneak inside Jishana's tent and find out what's happening? Of course. I'm a rodent. That's what I do. But it looks like that human beat me to it. Have you struck water yet? No, just gooey sand. Keep digging. This isn't right, you know. It's been the Sabbath since sundown. Keep working. Don't stop until I have a will. Would you look at this? My son, your mother is worried. You must return to the tent now. It is past sundown. Uh, I can't. Ephraim. There is something very wrong inside that tent. My friend is in trouble. Well, what is it? You must tell me, son. We should take no action on our own. We must go see Moses. I'm so... Tired. I'm gonna fall over. Yeah, we gotta do something. I know what will make us feel better. Let's sing our work song. It's the last thing I do. Don't feel bad, girl. We shouldn't be working tonight anyway. Hey, Miss, what's happening? Whoa! You should see what's going on in there. 
It's the biggest operation since building the pyramids. And on the Sabbath, no less. As I've suspected. <laughs> that man called Jishana has no regard for God's laws. No good can come of this. Oh, I'm gonna get that camel! Uh-oh. It looks like no good is coming our way. Uh-oh. Ooh, gotta fly. All right. Now you listen to me, you old son. Dog, if you think you're going to ruin my plans and sit out here while your friends are hard at work... <coughs> don't you look at me like that. I'll show you who's giving the orders around here. <gasps> Moses. What do you think you're doing, Jessana? <laughs> Moses. <laughs> Good to see you, after all this time. <gasps> Moses, your face. I have been in the presence of the Lord. Where's Seth? Where's Seth? Seth? Mom! Are you okay? I'm okay. What is this? Uh, you see, the sand underneath my tent was damp, so we were digging a well for the camp. Don't you know this is the Sabbath? It has been the Sabbath ever since the sun went down. The time when man and beast are supposed to rest. The Lord says, six days may you do all your work, and on the seventh day you shall rest. Return to your tents. Joshua and I will deal with Jessana. Mm -hmm. Let's go home, Seth. Three baskets of manna, too. Now, Moses, please. I was only thinking of the people. I swear to God. Careful. You have a reputation for using the Lord's name in vain. You have no conception how infinitely precious is the name of the Lord. It is a treasure greater than gold. Yet you use his name lightly to swear oaths, to justify your own desires and schemes. Ah, please, Moses, I repent. I have done wrong. I see it now. Moses, there is something down here. It's not water, though. It's some kind of black goo. Or completely worthless, obviously. Jessana, you shall wait until the Sabbath is over. And then you shall fill in this well, every shovelful, by yourself. No animals, no children. You shall do all the work yourself. <laughs> I'll be happy to supervise. Very well. Thank you, Moses. Thank you. Thanks for saving me. That's what friends are for. See you tomorrow. Have a blessed Sabbath. Seth, time to come in. I should have said no, Mom. I shouldn't have let Jasana push me around. Oh, you're only a boy, Seth. Oh, I was the one who made a hasty decision. I should have chosen a better protector. Now, come to bed. It will be a restful Sabbath. Good night, Amos. I guess all's well that ends a well. <laughs> Go to sleep, Amos. You guys can snore all you want because I put some cotton in my ears and... Hey, guys. I was I was just joking, you know? Uh, guys? Come on, guys? Guys? Come on. Move the bucket, would you? Please? I slept well that night. And I think I learned an important lesson. God cares a lot about what we do and what we say. We need to be careful about the words that come out of our mouths and make time every week to rest and spend with Him. We need to honor God in every part of our life.